Hey guys, Inept here. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play episode. In today's episode, I am going to be building a uh, drowned farm. Hopefully trying to get a, get a trident. I've never actually gotten one before, so I figured uh, building a farm would probably be the best way to go about doing that. Right here, I, uh, I needed to find a deep ocean biome, uh, so I brought my boat out, but I didn't realize it was just right on the coast of my desert. So I just started clearing out uh, the space for my ground farm. And just a quick disclaimer. I didn't actually get this, uh, come up with this design on my own. I got this from Shulkercraft. Um, he, it's his design. It's, uh, he's got a great video on his channel. Uh, go and check that out. Use in Shulkercraft's uh, design, you use uh, sea turtle eggs rather than villagers. So I got pretty lucky. There's actually a sea turtle beach right right next to where I was building it. So I just had to get some sea grass and go get some eggs. I had a had a bit of trouble to start getting them to actually breed. I think they were just too far away, but eventually I was able to get a couple to to lay some eggs for me. Having collected my eggs, I geared up and went back to went back to work building, building this ground farm. I had to swim back over to my location, but it wasn't too far. This, this next week, there, there was a lot of building and trial and error, even though I was following a, uh, a guide. But uh, just, you know, to make sure that I was doing everything right, I had to pause uh, the game a couple, a couple times just to make sure I was doing it right. And in his video, he uses stone. You can basically use any building block you want. I chose smooth diorite. Just, I thought it would help stick out. Now, this was curious. Um, in his video, and design you use trap doors to prevent the water from getting onto the glass platform. Um, I had some trouble with it. Also, I miscounted how many I had, and so I had to go back and get some wood to make some more. I got a visitor while I was during my build, so just had to had to put him down really quick. And I finished up placing my trap doors, but had to correct a fence really quick, or a fence gate, to make them uniform. Kind of ugly. However, whenever I tried to get the water to stop coming in, it did not work. And I don't know what I did differently than on his video, because it looked like I did the exact exact same way. But uh, water kept coming in, so I eventually just built up walls, essentially, and then replaced all the trap doors with dirt blocks to basically get rid of those source blocks. And then I had to put the trap doors back in. In hindsight, 
I probably should have brought my axe out, um, but I did not anticipate having to chop down this much wood. Because ideally this shouldn't have had to have been done, but you know, it happens. I collected all of my uh, trap doors so we won't have to go and make any more. I didn't have any more wood, so I would have had to go collect some more. So now that I got rid of the source blocks, the trap doors did prevent the water from coming in. So. It was nice that that actually did work. Um, I was getting skeptical for a little while, but uh, eventually got it to work. And I just needed to place down my eggs. Um, however, I did not realize that you could break them just by walking over them. So I had to go and breed some more, some more turtles, get a couple more eggs. I did save some to make a turtle farm for later. Not sure how Peter would feel about that, um, but. You know, I figure, why not? I also was building this whole part, the part that pushes the drowned into the portal, and realized I also miscounted how many pistons I had. So, I had to go and make some more of those. That was a bit of a hassle. Um, and I misplaced my blocks when I was first doing it, so it didn't make things that easy either. Having corrected that, I had a couple pistons that I could place, and then I just needed to go and make some more. thing about knockback on your sword, it just takes longer to kill stuff because it gets so far away. But, you know, whatever. I apologize if the uh, time lapse is a little choppy. I don't have great video editing software at the moment. Hopefully in the future I will be able to uh, change that and use something a little bit nicer than what I have. So after going and making some more pistons and all that stuff, it was time to, time to light up my portals. Going pretty smoothly, and then uh, this happened. I got I got stuck for a little bit, but you know I just broke one of my blocks and got out of the way. It's a little bit of a hassle though. Next up was the portal to get to go uh, to go in and kill the drowned once they had gone in. Obviously had a bit of a bit of a hiccup there. I also messed up in my build on this portal um, down in the bottom corner, but wasn't a huge deal. It's just stylistically messed up. So obviously this is not an ideal place for a farm because I can't just build into a wall. I had to actually make a uh, enclosure for them to fall into, basically, and it being over lava, it was, it was a little stressful. There was actually a moment, I thought I got it on tape, but apparently not, where I went through my portal, that I, I built another portal um, up higher in a little bit here. 
to distinguish the portal that I come through and the portal that the ground come through. Um, but there were three creepers that walked through my portal apparently, and when I came through, it blew up my platform and blew me down into the middle of this lava lake. I was lucky, and there was a basalt pillar underneath the lava, and I was able to build up on top of that and get out before burning alive, so that was, uh, I was lucky. I forgot I needed more trap doors, so I had to go back to the overworld and, and get some more, which you know, a bit of a hassle, but whatever. And with that, we were just about ready to light up our portal and start collecting some drowned. Thanks for watching this episode guys, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, go check out Shulkercraft's channel, he's got uh, a couple of really good tu nice tutorials of builds. In the next episode I go on an expedition to find this, the stronghold, and I go and fight the ender dragon. I've already got that footage so hopefully I can get that video out in the next couple of days. Thanks, bye.